Edwin Farr's buoy. Stick around. Hey guys, welcome. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Three River Blades. This is the Edwin Forest buoy by Bark River Knives. I just want to give you a close-up on that. It looks like a huge kitchen knife. This thing is a monster. Uh, the specs on this is 17 inches overall. Blade length is 12.25. Blade height is 1.75, so it's pretty big. And it, its thickness is uh, 0.178 and it weighs about 18 ounces. All right, really nice coffin style handle with micarta. These are still available. I think Knives Ship Free has them. It also comes with a really, really nice sheath. But I wanted to give you a little bit of information on this before we start testing this. So the Edwin Forrest buoy is thought by most Americans buoy experts to be the actual original that Jim Bowie used at the famous sandbar duel that ended with the rough fight among all its participants. As Jim Bowie was recuperating from his gunshot wounds after the first fight, he met and became friends with a famous actor called Edwin Forrest. Bowie gave the knife to Forrest for his stage shows along with a number of other newspaper accounts for the fight. The knife was found in 1980s in the Forrest family estate, family estate in Bryn Mawr, Pennsylvania. All right, we have made our version of the original knife. The knife was actually incredibly well balanced. It is very fast in the hand for the size and once in your hand, it is super, super fast, all right? Once in your hand, it will surprise you to its agility. Whether you use it to collect, this knife holds a piece of American history in your hand. All right, guys, so basically, this is the knife that was supposed to be designed or that they think that Jim Bowie actually used in the sandbar fight, not the one with the clip and the guard and all that. That was afterthought. That was his brother that came up with that design. This was the actual knife that's more likely to it. And as you can tell, 12 inch blade, super, super lightweight. And again, I just wanna take a look at the sheath. All Bark River stuff is super awesome. Really, really nice sheets. It does have that um, uh, belt, uh, has that belt clip in the back. And for this, you can either, you, it's very simple. You can either put it in right side or left side. It's ambidextrous, it doesn't matter. And then you just pull it over on one side and then you clip it in, all right? So really nice. And it also has some see-through grommets in there. So if you want to attach other things like lanyards or something like that, you can. Now, what I like about this, um, other than the fact that it's a simple design, but it's a good woods knife, all right? I would say that we're gonna do some testing on this knife, but it is A2. I'll put all the links down below. Uh, please make sure you like and subscribe to this channel. It really helps us out. All right, so let's take this to the forest. I'm gonna have my helper here, Jack. He's gonna help me out and uh, we'll do, go do some testing. All right, so Jack's gonna help me out with the knife of truth. All right, the log of truth. So this is where I put all my logs, all my knives to this test. This is a heavy duty log, and you can see I did some chopping on it. And we're gonna try to see how this knife does. All right, guys, so this knife, this, this log is pretty dead. All right, it's pretty dense, it's pretty dead. Uh, it's dead full, so I don't have to worry about, you know, any, any about cutting anything down. Again, this is a lighter knife. It's not as heavy. It's about uh, 3 16 inch thick. I'm just gonna find a spot here and see if I can get through this dead log. Okay. So this looks like a good spot. Pretty deep cuts. Nice cuts. All right, more like a machete than a heavy chopper. Doesn't have any lanyard holes, so you can't put a lanyard in there. But again, I don't think it's made for heavy chopping, but you can definitely use this as a camp knife without a doubt. It has some really, really nice cuts. And I do like that it's not super heavy. But it does get some really deep cuts. All right, so let's try another test. All right, so you can see the sapling right here. This is what I call the one cut test. It's about the size of my thumb, and I wanna see if I could slice through this. If I hit it just right, I should be able to get through it in one slice, all right? So stand by. All right, like I said, not a problem at all. Really nice one cut, very, very simple. All right, so I think this is uh, definitely a keeper as far as like a machete type camp knife. Let's try some other tests. 
All right, guys, so I'm not gonna beat this one up too much, but I just wanna see if we could split some logs. I think with the uh, length that we have here, I think it's gonna be good to go. I don't see having any type of issue, although this is a very long knife. I wouldn't wanna hit or put too much pressure on it because you might wind up bending it. All right, this is A2 steel. Holds up pretty good. I did go through a knot, so that's pretty good. I'm impressed with that. But again, I don't want to get too heavy duty on the splitting of logs. Just want to show you that it works, all right? It also would probably be good for a pretty, pretty easy mix stakes, all right? It also makes really nice feather sticks. You could probably use it as a draw knife too, but I do like the lightness of it. And this thing comes out of the box super, super sharp. All right, guys, so what do I think about this? I think it's an outstanding blade, whether you're using it for camp chores or your kitchen table, or maybe even for a sandbar knife fight. I think you would be very, very well um, armed if you got something like this. It works good for the woods. Looks works probably good for game, either four-legged or two. 12-inch blade, super lightweight. Uh, comes very, very sharp out of the box. This coffin-style handle is great because it keeps it from slipping out of your hand. So I highly recommend. These are still available if you can get them. Now, they are not cheap. I can see you back there, buddy. They are not cheap. Uh, it's probably going to cost you about three, $400. Uh, the sheath itself, again, I said is outstanding. Uh, the way you support this channel is very simple. You could like, subscribe, share. You could give me that thumbs up button. It won't cost you anything. You can go to Patreon. It only costs you $1 a month uh, to support the channel. And you get to watch videos like this before anybody else. Or you can go to 3riverblades.com and buy a knife from me. All right. So I do these knife reviews because I'm also doing a lot of research on the blades that I like. And to see if maybe there's something in a production form that I could make um, that would make it to the market, all right? So, so what I need you guys to do is to like, subscribe, share, and as always, stay safe.